Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. Well, I have an Integrity Toys review to share with you guys today. But before we continue, I do have to remind you that today's video is not intended for children. Today's video and all my videos are created and intended for adult audiences only. If you are under the age of 18, please make sure that a parent or a guardian 18 years or above is with you in the room watching this show with you. That way we can all avoid getting in trouble with YouTube with their new COPA regulations and I can continue making fun doll content for all of us to share. So on with today's review, we're going to be taking a look at Sweet Venom Jordan Duval uh, from the Fashion Royalty Boudoir Collection Wave 2. If you guys remember, uh, a year or two ago, I guess it was maybe two years ago, there was a uh, Wave 1 of the FR Lingerie Collection designed by the fabulous Jesse Ayala. And he just gave us a Wave 2 with three dolls that I am really excited to have. I wanted to start off with Jordan because the last Jordan I took at, uh, took a look at actually was from Jesse's FR collection like two years ago. It was Coquette Jordan Duval, and she had that beautiful kind of uh, beige camel leather top and that beautiful like turquoise skirt pant ensemble. So she comes in the beautiful white FR box. I'm gathering that the whole pink box thing was like a momentary thing or perhaps like a seasonal collection thing because Everything that I've seen from FR uh, this year, or recently at least, has been in this white box. But all the same, let's go ahead and take a look at her. Are we ready? One, two, and three. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, look at her, you guys. This is quite the ensemble, if I do say so myself. I was drawn to the dangerous feel of her um, ensemble here. And let me tell you, in real life, definitely has a very dangerous feel to it. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessory pack. So that lifts off just like this. And here she is, by the way, without the accessory pack in her entirety. She's gorgeous, you guys. One, two, and three. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, so the very first thing I'm drawn to here are her beautiful boots. Uh, they are like mesh boots that come up to her knees or her thighs even. I can't remember exactly, but I definitely see the mesh, the mesh uh, sock por uh, portion here. And then the sculpted shoe around that with a black platform and a black stiletto heel. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. And then next to that, I see her jewelry suite here. Oh wow, look at that spider. Look at the black beads. Oh my God, she has like a cuff ring. Oh my God, gorgeous. Love, love, love. And then next to that, I see her little perfume bottle. Oh my God, it's even housed in like a little uh, foam holder like a lot of designer perfumes are. That's so cute. And then next to that, I see her gloves, her pair of black leather gloves here. Beautiful, very um, long, very tall. And then last but not least, I see her additional set of hands. These are the traditional hands with the shorter manicure, and I believe these are carrying hands. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Jordan out of her box here. She lifts up from her box just like so, as always. She is tied down with white silk ribbons here. There is uh, the QC sticker back here as well, along with her FR doll stand, which is my number one favorite doll stand in the whole entire world. I still get a million questions about that. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's heavy, it's acrylic. It has the silver FR stamp on here and it is just clear as day. <laughs> and I absolutely love these doll stands so, so much. And the telescoping portion here is on the left side or right side, whichever way you're looking at it. Underneath that is her beautiful certificate of authenticity, just like so. It's the same certificate that we see with a lot of our FR dolls. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. Down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster. Ooh, let's go ahead and get her out of here, shall we? So how are you guys doing? What's happening in your hoods? How are you staying sane and content and happy? Please let me know. I know that sometimes it takes me a while to respond on here because frankly it gets a little overwhelming. <laughs> but I see all of your comments. I hear all of your feedback. I am always with you in spirit. And I know that some of you have been following me for a very long time now. So I appreciate your 
uh, loyalty and your viewership. So I'm thinking of you and your families, and I hope that you are all doing well. I think Miss Jordan is ready to come out here. Ta-da! All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. Mm. I'm sampling this new Tom Ford fragrance that I just purchased um, after only smelling it once, like six months ago. And I'm just feeling a little disappointed with the throw of the fragrance. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like it's as strong and as deep as I need it to be. <laughs> I'm such a grandpa when it comes to fragrances. Like, I like the real heavy eau de parfum, parfum stuff. No, none of that eau de toilette stuff for me, honey. So she has a white hairnet on here, which we, we are very carefully going to take off. Her hair is styled rather interestingly, like it's kind of all thrown here to the side. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it's supposed to kind of cascade down the side of her shoulder here. So we will probably have to give it a little spritz. Many of you ask me how I loosen hair that's like this. And there's two things that I personally do. Um, I know that many doll collectors do different, different things. I just kind of uh, cover her face up and the rest of her body up um, and just spray a little bit of water, just regular distilled water and just kind of loosen the gel and then just kind of pull the, the hair apart with my hands. Sometimes I wash the hair completely with a little bit of uh, like very gentle shampoo. I do have a couple of tutorials on my channel about washing and restyling hair. So make sure to check that out. There is also a little bit of like clear filament here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off because y'all know that we don't do straps in the rush land. <laughs> of course she has these knee guards on here as well. So we're going to very gently take these off. I also got uh, lots and lots of messages from many of you letting me know that you guys joined the W Club and that you are new to integrity and that uh, you know our videos together and our time together here on YouTube has inspired you. So I'm really excited to hear that. I think you guys will enjoy it. It's definitely like, um, it's, it's a departure from Barbie, <laughs> but you know, I am kind of an all dolls are fantastic kind of person. I don't pick brands over another and I don't pit uh, brands against each other because ew, ew, why? Here is Sweet Venom Jordan Duvall up close and personal in almost all of her accessories for you guys to take a look at. So a couple of notes here, uh, her beautiful mesh boots you do have to yourself clip them into the little garter clips here. And they are the same style of garter clips that we have seen before in other FR lingerie dolls, um, in Barbie um, dolls as well. It's that same little plastic clip. Just a heads up, they are quite stiff and they do eat at your nails, so <laughs> yay. And then the only other thing that I cannot figure out how to do is to get her gloves on because they are not, I don't know. For those of you guys who have this doll, can someone please let me know how on earth you guys got the gloves in here? Um, it is like insanely difficult because look, there's no opening here. So I tried putting her alternate pair of hands in here attached to her arm so I could push it through because those nails are quite short, but it still kept puncturing the uh, faux leather up here and just would not peek through. So any tips you guys have on that would be great because I, I, can't, I can't figure it out. I just, I just can't. But all the same, she is a fabulous, fabulous doll. I love the depth and dimension to all the dark colors that she is surrounded by. I think her face is exquisite. We have um, such an admiration for Jordan. I mean, hello, hello. Uh, love that necklace as well. Love that the um, choker portion has that beautiful little glisten to it. And then of course her beautiful bodysuit bustier ensemble here made to look like patent leather. And it actually feels like nice soft fabric. So that's nice in that we can manage it. There's a zipper here in the back. There are her garter clips from the back. They are just exquisite. And here are the boots in their entirety. I mean, how freaking chic, right? There is a little clear toe box portion that we can't really see, but that's what's holding her little toes in place. And I absolutely love these. They're just so chic, so avant-garde, and just so new 
for dolls. And I feel like leave it to Jesse to always give us some major, major shoe moments, right? There we go. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't get much sexier than this. I-M-O, right? So yeah, just an absolutely beautiful doll. Okay, so there isn't a whole lot to Jordan's ensemble here, obviously. Wow, very snug fit, but here we go. Everything comes off just in one piece here. Ooh, oh wow. Oh my God. <gasps> Oh, it's beautiful. Here is Sweet Venom Jordan Duvall in the buff so you guys can get a better look at her fab, fab FR physique. She insisted on holding her perfume bottle to show you guys in her own hands. So there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so her face is, as always, just magnificent. Trying to see if we can get a better look at her eye color there. It's like a gorgeous hazily brown, just like that. And because of the deep, deep, rich color of her complexion, it is a little hard to see her face paint because it is rather reflective. But she does have a fierce brow, a beautiful smoky eye with a wing and nice touches of like a silvery, warm silvery with a touch of gold uh, highlight on the inner eyes and the uh, brow bone area as well. She does have applied lashes there as we can see and there is a little bit of like glue or something around her mouth there so usually what I do when I see that is I take a wet q-tip with just a little bit of water and just kind of run it around that area. Um, it just might be like glue remnants of some sort but I love her lip color. So beautiful. It's like a gorgeous Concord grape jelly gloss. <laughs> Right, right. Uh, there are her earrings. They are very familiar to me. I feel like we just saw this earring silhouette in another doll, but I can't remember who. Um, there are like a gunmetal color with little black stones. There is her choker. It is like a, three rows of black bugle beads. And then this little spider drop. It's like the same spider that we saw, I think, was it in Aaron Solstice um, a year or two ago? Yeah, I think we've definitely seen the spider before, but uh, yeah, I like it. And then her hair is uh, beautiful in theory in that I understand the style that uh, Jessie was going for. It's this beautiful side part with this wave across her forehead, and then it kind of cascades down over her left shoulder. But right now it's just gelled, like shellacked into place as you can see there. So yeah, we'll just relax that a little bit, get a little spritz of water in there, um, calm it all down, but just a beautiful, beautiful face. I love her in this really, really deep skin complexion. Gorgeous, right? Um, of course she dropped her perfume bottle because Ms. Know-It-All thinks she can hold everything, but she really can't. There is her little perfume bottle, just like so. It's a beautiful, a deep, dark purple colored bottle. Has a very interesting faceted finish to it. Reminds me a little bit of like a Dior Poison bottle, even though Poison bottles are shaped quite differently to that, but I don't know, something about it just reminds me of Poison. <laughs> and then there you see her gorgeous manicure. It's the same color as her lips. And then here is that beautiful cuff style ring that she has on. So gorgeous. I love that. Love, love, love that. And then her body is... Uh, the same FR body that we have seen recently in all of our FR dolls. She does have a beautiful pedicure here as well. She moves here at the shoulder. Of course, her head moves around as well. And then here at the elbow, just like so. Um, her hands are interchangeable. She does have additional hands. And then she moves under the breastplate here, just like so. And then she kicks out her legs to the front, she can bend them beautifully just like so, and she can kick them out as well. And then if you look underneath her, you can see the plastic ball bearing mechanism that is helping the joints move. And then here she is from the back, beautiful, beautiful seamless joints. That's like such a nice thing about Integrity Dolls. And um, yeah, absolutely love this doll. I'm so excited to have her, wow. Here is Jordan's beautiful, very, very dominatrix like bustier. <laughs> I believe it's meant to look like patent leather, uh, but in actuality, it feels like a very soft uh, faux leather. Uh, 
yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. And yeah, I'm down for that. I love, love, love the detail of this. Like just look at all the little uh, top stitch. We are made to see all the different panels that are going into this. Like legit, if you were looking at this right now, you would never know that this was doll size. You would think it was totally human size. Like very, very Terry Mugler, so beautiful. Has that very, very vixen, vixen look to it that I love. Has like a slight Jean-Paul Gaultier feel to it. Has like a little bit of like Azadine Alaya. I mean, all the great couturiers have done these really beautiful, very structured, very fitted corset bustier type ensembles before. So I am living for it. And I know that Jesse always pulls very sophisticated and fabulous inspiration. So I am here for it. Here is the back. It is beautiful as all integrity pieces are. There is a fully functioning zipper here right at the very back and then a little uh, charcoal gunmetal colored hook that holds everything in place so that you can zip it up easily. And then when we open it up, the whole thing is beautifully, beautifully lined panel to panel in the black uh, silk here, like a gorgeous silk lining fabric that they all do. Um, IT tag right there. The uh, bust cups are just so, so nicely lined. Oh my God, you guys. And it feels so substantial. Like it feels quilted almost, you know? But the fact that when she has it on, it doesn't show any of that. I love that. And I think the little trick of kind of exaggerating the hip here works really, really beautifully with the very... Um, traditional sweetheart neckline. So yeah, a beautiful, beautiful piece. I don't uh, generally love a lot of lingerie in my collection for men or for women, but this is such a beautiful piece. It's just so daring and dangerous. <laughs> and then there are the boots outside of her uh, feet, and they definitely look a little bit scary because they're more of a sock attached to the um, platform and heel portion but yeah um, I, I love the the combination of that with this and here's a close-up of her little panty it's in that same black faux leather fabric that's made to look like patent leather we see one hook closure there it's a little black metal hook and the whole thing of course is lined in black silk same as the top and just wonderful exquisite craftsmanship because it is quite visible um, they really have paid attention to it and i love it here are her uh, long opera length gloves fingerless gloves actually but as i mentioned earlier i cannot figure out how to get these on like there's no opening that i can see i hope that after i finish filming this i'm not gonna like play with it and then all of a sudden see something or figure it out but please let me know how on earth you guys got her hands to come through this um, every time i've tried with both sets of hands the long manicure and the short manicure i end up puncturing this um, along the way and i just cannot seem to get her hands through these openings because they're really really small openings so um, i had thought that you would have put the hand in this way and done it that way but this is sewn shut so i really have no idea so anyway um it's in that same fabric as her entire ensemble is in and it's beautiful and glossy and i would love to get it on her i just can't figure out how so tips please so there we have it guys this is the gorgeous sweet venom jordan duvall from the 2019 fr boudoir collection wave number two she is designed by jesse ayala she is an absolute exquisite beauty if you are into lingerie and you love collecting dolls that have a boudoir feel to them obviously jordan is a must-have i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope that you learned something please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe make sure you guys hit that little bell icon after you hit the subscribe button and that way every thursday you'll be notified when i upload a new video Join me on Instagram. I'm at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. And until I see you guys again, Jordan and I are still under um, stay home orders. So we can't go anywhere. Everything's closed that we know of. So she's going to just um, get all of her friends on uh, FaceTime and hang out. And they're going to just talk about how amazing they are in their fabulous boudoir clothes. And yeah, I'm just going to go to sleep. <laughs>
Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses for me and Jordan here in Seattle. Mwah. I will see you guys again next week for another video, okay? Bye.